Hi, I'm glad to be with you today. We're going to talk about something that if you have ears to hear, it can change your life. We're going to talk about faith food. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 4, 4, he said something so powerful. He said, man does not live by bread alone, you know, by daily nourishment of food, but he lives by every word, every word that proceeds or comes from the mouth of God. He didn't say that proceeded. He said that proceeds. So the word of God taken in on a daily basis is nourishment to your life circumstances. Proverbs 4.22 says the word of God is life. That's living life. That's living dominion, living power to those that find it. And it's healing to all of your flesh or all of your circumstances. Uh, you know, many years ago, I used to work for a company, and um, every day I'd get up each morning, and of course, have my breakfast, and then I would get my faith food, I'd get my Word of God, and uh, there were certain areas of my life that I needed to bring more nourishment, more healing, more victory, so uh, I used to confess the uh, scriptures and read more about the fact that the Word says that if you are Abraham's seed, which you are when you become a Christian, then your heir according to the promises that God made to Abraham. Well, I got pretty excited about that because I had some needs and I wanted to be uh, heir according to the promises. He told Abraham, he said, Abraham, he said, I am going to bless you. I'm going to be your reward. I'm going to bless people that bless you. And uh, he even said to Abraham, I'm going to make you very rich in silver and in gold. And what did Abraham have to do? He had to believe that God could fulfill his word. So he did. So anyway, here I am driving to work, you know, and I'm making my faith confessions. I'm blessed when I go in, according to Deuteronomy 28. I'm blessed when I come come out. When I get in there, blessings are chasing me down and I'm the head. I am not the tail. I'm above. I'm not beneath. But to make a long story short, um, it was the day that uh, the vice president of finance was going to call everyone in one by one to tell them what pay raise they were going to get. So I, as people would file in and come back out, I mean, there were sad faces and people were doing the old thumbs down and some would stop by my desk and say, you know, forget it. You know, you're not going to get anything. They're not giving any raises. So anyway, it did come my time. But, you know, I had just remembered I'd said what God had said about me, not what circumstances were, not what was going on in the company. And do you know what? I got a raise and I got a really good raise. And it was a blessing to me because I had a son that I was raising alone and I needed rent money. I need gas money. I needed yeah, all the things that teenagers need, you know, to for my child. So anyway, I got blessed. So my faith food, my nourishment, it brought results. So I want to encourage you today. The Word of God is alive. It's powerful. Just like you get up to eat food every single day, get up every day and hunger for the Word of God and you will get victory as well. God's no respecter of persons, but He is a respecter of faith. And if you've enjoyed this video, I want to encourage you to go back to the beginning and click on the link and forward it to your friends and your colleagues and your family and just let them be encouraged that your life can change, their life can change, and it doesn't take God long to do something big. Thank you.